We are the School of Journalism and Communication at the University of Oregon. Our main campus is in Eugene. We have a large undergraduate journalism program, a master's in journalism program, and then up here in Portland, we have a master's in multimedia journalism. Today, a photojournalist is no longer just a still photographer. You, know, you have to know how to record audio, record video, shoot sequences, work in that linear format. These days, we can have one camera fulfill the needs of a still photo class and a multimedia storytelling class, and it's been very fluid. They'll start with the Canon R7, and that camera will take students from intro to intermediate quality work, and then when they're ready for the high-level production work, we get them on the C70. The C70 is an incredible camera. It is small. You can add it to it as a rig if you want, but you can also work with it as a really small, compact camera. Most of the work that we do in our program tends to be that type of documentary field work, and we like to have a small footprint. There is now a, a fairly long history of journalists going out with video cameras by themselves, and so to have access to something like a C70 where they can come back with beautiful footage as one person is really incredible. We got to take the C-70s on our journalistic storytelling trip to Columbia. We took two C-70s that students really adapted very well, but also picked up very quickly, you know, how to make the most of them. Going from other Canon cameras, the UI and all the menus were very similar. Even though it might be a bigger camera with way more features, it still felt familiar and easy to use. The range and the level of professionalism that it affords them is pretty significant. There was a young boy there that Nick connected with and he intuitively placed this young man behind the camera and just the sense of joy that this kid had from having that experience and seeing that he could push a button, capture a moment and then look at it afterwards was like pure magic. It does three axes of motion, slides back and forth, it has a turntable, which is pan. It also does tilt. Tonight is our second class in a sequence of three video classes that our students take in our program. Our students will be setting up a two-camera interview. We're gonna interview Andrew David Gall, one of our faculty members. I'm gonna work with the students and let them make a lot of the decisions, so we'll see how it goes tonight. We have a great equipment cage here where you don't need to use the equipment only for classes. It's really open to whatever the students want to do. Day to day, people are just constantly taking stuff out. It's great to see everyone going out and doing creative projects. Having access to high quality gear that they can use for all these different forms of storytelling is really vital to their development. We have the new Canon Cinema Glass that's just totally elevating the program. It changed everything. The color, the clarity, the vibrance of the footage. The RF lenses are incredible. We immediately saw an increase in sharpness and contrast, and we love the quality of the glass and just the way that those lenses are built. They have a really great feel to them. One of the real strengths of our school is that our students have learned the technical aspects of storytelling, but they've also learned storytelling. I'm really proud of the fact that we teach both. Our students know how to operate the equipment, but they also are great storytellers and great journalists, and they can go out and make a difference in the world in that way.